Hey guys, I'm going to be sharing with you my super simple recipe for my fried sweet and sour shrimp. It's a delicious and flavorful fried shrimp with an amazing sauce, which is kind of very much like a sweet and sour sauce. We're going to start off with our shrimp here that I have, it's peeled and cleaned and been washed and everything and deveined. I'm going to go ahead and season that with some salt and some black pepper. This is about one pound of shrimp. And to that, I'm just going to go ahead and add in a little bit of low sodium soy sauce, as well as equal parts of uh, grated ginger and grated garlic. Of course, all the amounts that I used will be listed below in the description box below for you. So I'm going to go ahead and add that in and I'm going to get one egg. I'm going to go ahead and add my egg in. I'm going to get a spoon and mix all these things together. Now I am using small, uh, the size of my shrimp is more on the small side as opposed to a large shrimp. It's cheaper for one and two. I like to make these so they're kind of like bite size so you can use it as an appetizer or a starter or what I'm using it for today is as a side. But I'm just going to mix that together really well to make sure everything is incorporated and let that marinate for at least 20 to 30 minutes or so. The longer the better, of course. In a plate here, you can also use a bowl or some kind of dish. I'm going to go ahead and add in some cornstarch as well as some panko breadcrumbs. If you don't have panko breadcrumbs, just go ahead and use regular breadcrumbs. Or if you don't even have that, just go ahead and use all cornstarch. Or you can even add uh, some flour to it. Half cornstarch, half flour. I'll have all those things listed below in the description box for you. As well as I'll season this with some salt and black pepper. I'm going to give that a mix so I make sure that my breading is nice and seasoned as well as my shrimp is nice and seasoned. I want every layer of my dish to be seasoned. So I have my little station here with a clean plate, my breading as well as my shrimp. I'm going to take out some of my shrimp pieces, some of my shrimp, <laughs> and place them on. I'm just going to toss them in my cornstarch and panko breadcrumbs. The cornstarch is going to give it a light, uh, light crunch while the panko is going to give it more of a harder, crunchier uh, texture. So both of them work beautifully together. You do want to make sure that your shrimp is coated with the egg and the garlic and the ginger, but you don't want too much of that egg mixture because it can make everything really clumpy. After it's nice and tossed and it is coated completely, I'm just going to set it on my clean plate and I'm just going to continue on. I also have some vegetable oil in a pot that is heating up on my stove. So you can do about two to three uh, shrimp at a time, just toss it around. And I'm going to go ahead and add it into my pot with my um, vegetable oil, nice and hot on medium heat. I'm going to add it about 10 at a time because these are smaller shrimp. And I'm going to wait for these to cook for about four to six minutes completely. I'm using a pot where there's about an inch to two inches of vegetable oil to make sure that the shrimp is completely submerged in the oil. So I don't have to worry about flipping it. After about five minutes or so, I'm going to go ahead and remove them and place them on a pan. A plate that is lined with napkins or paper towels and just do these in batches so you don't completely overcrowd your pan and you just want to make sure that your shrimp is fully cooked through. They're going to have a nice light golden brown color to them. Place them and on a paper towel plate or something just to get all of that excess oil off. Let's get to the sauce. In a bowl here, I have some sweet chili sauce, and to that, I'm going to go ahead and add in some rice vinegar. Now, if you don't have rice vinegar, you could completely leave it out or just add like a little bit of regular vinegar. This is a really sweet but tangy and a little hint of spice to the sauce. It is delicious. I'm also going to go ahead and season this with a little bit of black pepper as well as some mayo. And again, all the amounts are listed below in the description box for you. Then I'm going to go ahead and add in some ketchup. You can even add some sriracha for a little extra heat to this as well. And just mix those together. And that's how simple this sauce is. It's just a, a handful of ingredients. And I love to serve it uh, either dipping the shrimp in it, kind of like an appetizer or a starter meal. Or like with a fit sauce, some finger foods or something like that. Or... I'm serving it today with my lo mein and some white rice and having this drizzled over the shrimp as well as drizzled over some of that lo mein. It is so good. It, the flavors just 
complement each other so well. I will have everything listed below in the description box for you. Give this recipe a try. You won't regret it. It's so easy, but it's so, so good. Don't forget to like, share, and subscribe. I'll see you guys next time. Bye-bye.